Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we commonly get asked a question in regards to where do I mount or connect my fuse to my solar controller? Do I connect it between the solar controller and the panel? Do I control it? At, where do I put that fuse? Do I put it beside the controller? Do I put it, where does it go? I know I should have a fuse, but where does the fuse go? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of show and tell. So I'm gonna bring you and you're gonna be looking at a diagram and we're gonna be overlaying on top of this diagram to try to maybe visually explain what I'm trying to use with words here, okay? Maybe visually is gonna be a little bit better. So, um, so here what we've got is, we've got two examples and what we're seeing here is we're seeing a section where we've got solar panels in series and we've got a single solar panel connected to a single controller, all right. So that's pretty easy. And let's start with this one because this is actually what most of us are going to be dealing with, right? Single panel connected to single controller. So where should the fuse go? As you can see in this diagram, the fuse is located right here. And why here? Why so close to the battery? Well, because the battery has not unlimited, but nearly unlimited amount of power. Remember your solar array, right? If it's hundred watt, 200 watts, 300 watts, at the end of the day, that solar panel, we know it's maximum rated output. And what we're doing is we're thinking, okay, it's a 100 watt panel, and we're gonna connect a wire, we're gonna connect everything in the controller, and everything that's connected to that panel is sized appropriately, right? Because we're making these decisions. But whatever connects to a battery can draw way more current than the solar panel can actually output. A 100 watt solar panel might output five amps, six amps at peak output, but your battery can definitely deliver a lot more than just five, six amps. So this is why it's important to have the fuse located right here at the start of the circuit. So you put that fuse right on the battery and then in turn what you end up doing, as you can see over here, you actually have it be connected directly to the controller, but always at the start of the circuit. And the start of the circuit, because it's endless power, is the battery. And notice how some controllers, by the way, like Victron, actually has a fuse built in. Now that fuse is not the fuse between the battery and the controller. That fuse is for another purpose. It's the fuse from the controller to the solar panel. So your solar panel's here, and there's gonna be a little fuse right in here. And that little fuse protects this circuits here. So the circuit between the solar panel and the controller. And then you as an installer are gonna be installing a fuse here. And then that fuse basically protects the wiring between the controller and the battery. And that's where you mount a fuse for a solar controller. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.